Hakadosh Baruch Hu. We're just continuing with the halachot of uh, now. This is the brachot of Kriyat Shema in the morning. And Siman Nun Tet Maran brings down and Siv Dalet Birkat Yotzer VeArvit Omerim Ashliach Tzibur Benachat. The bracha of Yotzer or or the bracha of obviously in the nighttime as well. You're always going to say it with the Shliach Tzibur in a lower voice. With what are we referring to? So here the Mishabra already brings down Birkat Yotzer and all the brach, the Hu Adin is all it applies to all the brachot of Kriyat Shema. He says why even though Medina. Even though according to the Lacha, one could have in mind the Beracha of the Shliach Tzibur, even if he is a Baki, because only even if he's an expert, which means that he knows how to say the Beracha, because specifically by Amida, it does not help that the Shliach Tzibur is going to be Motzi, a Baki, that the Shliach Tzibur is going to fulfill the obligation for somebody that's an expert, just like it says later on in Simanku Kavdal Tzifalev, because it's Rachamen Inu. It's uh, basically we're asking for mercy and therefore every single person has to ask mercy upon themselves. So even though I am the Shliach Zibur and I'm going to be Motzi Yodcha at the end of the day, if that's going to happen, but you should be doing it on your own because you have to ask mercy for yourself. That's what the Allah is stating. Nevertheless, it still says, Yera gilo man Shliach Zibur benachat, shekevan shem brachot arukot, en adam yachon lechaven tadir, right, uh, ima Shliach Zibur b'shtika. What does that mean? He says at the end of the day, it's a very long beracha. Imagine the entire beracha of Yotzer Or, or all the berachot. Since they're so long, it's very difficult to have the proper concentration from the beginning until the end without our minds slipping away. And therefore, because of that, we should say it with the Shliach Tzibur, word for word, the entire parts of the berachot. The, the, the Mishnah Burado says, However, though, nowadays we don't have this minhag, which means that they'll go all over the place. They don't have to say it quietly with the Shliach Tzibur. However, though, the Kavach Haim brings down that also today that is our minhag, that the Shliach Tzibur says it out loud, and everybody else says it in a lower voice to follow along with the Shliach Tzibur. And that's actually our minhag always. That there was always like a Mesader or always somebody that he used to say, whether it's Zemirot, whether it's the Benachot of Kriyat Shema, it doesn't matter what it is, they would always say it out loud and then everybody else would say it in a lower voice following along just like the Kafah Chaim says and Shitap Maran. The last Salacha is is that Maran says right there's going to be a problem according to Shitap Maran there is a problem for us to answer Amen after the Berachot and therefore there is an inyan to actually finish with at the same time with the Shliat Tzibur. That's another reason. Because if we're going to finish at the exact same time with the Shliat Tzibur, the Beracha, for sure we're not going to answer the Amen. So therefore we would all answer together. Abu Chayyib and that's why if you pay attention on Shabbatot or all the times, everyone would say together, everyone together. Why? Because once we're all finishing together, for sure you're not going to answer Amen. Because if not, you have a problem of Efsek. According to the Mishabra again, there's going to be a whole thing the, here, the Ashkenazim, they want to differentiate between Yotzer Or, between Abu Chemo Yisabava. Even with that, the Ashkenazim try to be careful also as well, that they should also do that. But there are some of them that they will answer Amen. But according to Sfaradim, Shitab Maran, is that we're not allowed to answer Amen to the Berachot of Kriyat Shema. And therefore, when we're, it's going to be, whether it's Yotzer Amorot, or Abu Chemo Yisabava, or any other of the Berachot of Kriyat Shema, we should try to finish with the Shliach Tzibur, so therefore we're not going to have a problem, Bichlal, of answering Amen.